guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a super quick, easy Dutch braid hair tutorial for you guys. I know it's really hard to get like all those little tiny short hairs. I mean, you guys can tell, like I have short hair all up here, all that texture. I'm gonna show you how to keep everything together with ADH Dry. I use this all the time with my braids, especially when I'm working, doing weddings. I use this a lot. So I love it. I love how this turned out. It's just super fun, summery, braided look. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. All right, let's get right into the tutorial. All right, let's get started on this braid. First off is all about sectioning. So I want this braid to like start on my forehead, but I do want some hair down. I think that'll be good. I'm gonna clip this out of the way. And then up here, that is where my braid is gonna be. And then I'm gonna clip this out of the way. All right, so this whole section is my braid. Maybe I might pull some down right there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it fall, but I'm gonna grab the first section up here. I do have a lot of baby hairs, a little bit of breakage up here. I'm gonna take ADH Dry. This stuff is really good for starting braids. I use this all the time um, at weddings to do braids on all the bridesmaids. You just wanna start it at the root. This gives it the grit so the hair like doesn't get loose. Okay, so I'm going to start that first section and I'm going to be doing a, be doing a Dutch braid, which is an inverted French braid. I'm going to grab three equal sections and I'm going to go under. I'm going to pull everything really, really tight. Okay, I'm going to grab in my first section on this inside and bring it under to meet that. Put that one under, bring this under and under. So I'm going to bring this braid pretty close to my forehead because I want it to show on my forehead. You guys have never done a, braid, a, a Dutch braid before. They're super easy. They're real simple and really cute and they are able to pancake out so much. I'm gonna spray a little Kenra just right in there to add some of that texture. So the braid will hold. If you guys have brown hair, you wanna use a lot more texture cream than I did um, because your hair is probably a lot smoother than mine is. Mine is dyed, <laughs> so it does have a lot of grit to it naturally. Well, not naturally, I guess that's fake, right? Okay, this is the last side on the back that I'm going to pull in. And then the last side on the front. Right. So right here, I'm going to let this bad boy down. I'm going to spray. And I'm going to start pulling the braid apart to make it fuller. Just like that. I don't want this braid like too big. I want it big, but I don't want it like huge. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna finish the braid off. The reason why I don't finish the braid off and then pancake it out is because sometimes it could look really, really messy, especially on the bottom, and then you just have to rebraid over again. So I suggest pancaking as you go. Obviously, this is a really short braid, but if you were to do like a really long braid, go ahead and pancake it out as you go down. Okay. 
So I'm not gonna really worry about these being super pancaked because I'm gonna put them under here. I do want a little bit more hair out, so I'm gonna pull some out of the braid. All right, and then I'm going to tease my hair. Spray, take my teasing comb, get the tease really tight to the root. We're going to take two bobby pins and put the bobby pin up into the braid and then put this one right in there as well. All right, let's put those under. And there we go. You do not want to see your bobby pins. Six little parts. I'm all about like symmetry on my hair so I like to tease this side as well to make it round. And then this part is flat so I'm just gonna lift up under here. Okay. I think that'll do for now. Just to add something fun. It is better to do braids when your hair is dirty. My hair is freshly clean. But I wanted to add something fun because it is hot outside. I wanted my hair out of my face or off of my forehead. So yeah, I think this is super cute. Easy, messy, fun. Alright, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Bye.